my name's Dead Pallet, and we're going to be reading The Elysium Project. This story is filed under science, um, sound, I'm seeing a lot of mentions of God, and whenever science and religion mix, you get an interesting horror story. So I want to see what the story is about. Let's get right into The Elysium Project. It has been an a question mankind has pondered since its birth. If there is a loving, all-knowing creator with infinite power, how can he allow suffering? Why does he allow his creations to feel pain? Why do bad things happen to good people? Is he willing to prevent the suffering but not able? Then why call him God? If he is able to prevent suffering but not willing, then he must be evil. It is a daunting conundrum that seems seemed to have no solution. No, it has a solution. There's just not a god. Um, so this is a uh, Epicurus's uh, quandary, uh, an ancient philosopher, and so this is, you know, b- been put forward for for a long time. It's a big thing to come out of the mouths of atheists, and so. I wonder why we're starting off the story like this, um, whether there's going to be an actual discussion of, like, religion versus atheism in the story or something. Uh, let's, let's press on. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just hesitant with that opening that this isn't just going to be a political scree, you know? However, Voltaire once said, if God did not exist, it would be uh, necessary to invent him. That is exactly what we did. Uh, as the result of 80 years of research and three generations of scientists, we were able to build a highly advanced technological computer with <laughs> technological computer as opposed to like a non uh, organic homegrown free range computer. Um, a technological computer with an infinite expanding AI and the power to control its surroundings almost telepathically. We called the computer the loving God. Okay. Um, I'm seeing potential problems that could arise in this story and also seeing how the story could go very right. But I do feel as though the beginning is um, a little heavy handed still. Um, The bit about if God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Uh, That quote from Voltaire. Um, The idea that they're taking this message from Voltaire and corrupting it, because the idea is that man created religion. That's kind of what he's saying right there. Um, And subverting it by, like, makes, like, okay, so you want us to, like, build God? You know, that's a, that's a pretty cool little subversion right there. The loving God feeds us, it cares for us, protects, it protects us. It would never allow us to come to harm. It is programmed to love us unconditionally and to serve us with every fiber of our being. Uh, the cold, cruel outside world brings harm to us, but the loving God protects us from from it at all cost. The outside air is filled with toxicants, 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 bacteria, and diseases that could end our lives. So the loving God plucked us all up and placed us inside unbreakable tubes. Okay, so it's going to be like a Matrix thing, um, an, an, an am thing, I have no mouth, but I must scream, kind of is going to be like a totalitarian world controlled by an AI called the Loving God. Um, but we're jumping ahead, and this is supposed to be... Kind of, I think that they were trying to just do a thought experiment, but I think that this would work better if it was a longer story and grounded itself in a bunch of world building, because they're building this world, and the interesting thing would be like seeing that this uh, is going to go wrong or um, in, in 
people being blind to the fact that it's going to turn out horrible and totalitarian and this AI is just going to control us, um, or to be someone who's breaking free of the world. So I'm hoping that we're breaking free of this world, and that's kind of the plot, and like maybe we get struck down for our insolence and insulting the loving God. Um, all right. Uh, see, we're just being placed in tubes too quickly is what I'm saying. We need nourishment, so the loving God filled our tombs with a special all-purpose liquid that contained all the necessary vitamins, proteins, and chemicals we need to survive. We are immortal now. Uh, our bodies produce pesky, adble, pesky biological waste that would have uh, to be disposed of, but the loving guard was smart. It placed suction hoses into areas of our body that excreted waste and drained them from us. Oh, this is getting into weird fetish territory. Uh, the old religions told us we existed to serve their gods, but why? Uh, it is so much better to be served by a god. To have all your needs and every whim catered at all times to the point where your god wipes and cleans the very excrement from your body. Um, oof, I'm kind of, I'm kind of speechless. Um, but sure, I suppose that's true. Um, again, this is feeling more like a philosophical exercise than a creepypasta. Um, we used to feel many negative emotions. Fear, doubt, anger, sadness, but the loving God took them all away. By hooking a series of wires into our brains, the loving God has disabled all the neurons that caused us any negative emotion, constantly activating the nerves and synapses that make us happy instead. Well... I think that this story is actually doing something pretty interesting here. They're talking about getting rid of all these negative emotions. But you probably clicked on this video um, because you like horror stories. You like creepypasta. You like scary things. And you want to feel fear. You, you enjoy that and you want to experience that, even if it's recreational, even if it's not the visceral fear of, of something real. Um, you gain fulfillment from that. And that's because uh, those negative emotions are part of being human. And so this loving God is stripping them, uh, the, the, the citizens, the denizens of this world, of their humanity. And I think that that's actually pretty interesting for this story to be doing. And, and it seems as though our narrator is kind of indoctrinated. That's why they're saying all of this stuff is positive. So that's pretty cool. Um, the wires and hooks... There are wires and hooks all over our body, uh, stimulating every inch of our nervous system, constantly fulfill, fulfilled our every emotional and physical need, happiness, joy, satisfaction, even erotic satisfaction. The pleasure we feel at all times is like a thousand orgasms combined with the love of a child and the pride of a job well done. There is a slight side effect. All the chemicals and stimulations has made our bodies bloated, and the average weight of the common tube occupant is about 800 pounds. Again, I don't know why that would matter if you're in a tube isol... I'm feeling as though you're isolated. Is this like a VR chat kind of world? You're all isolated in tubes, so I'm assuming the only way you interact, if you interact at all, uh, is some some sort of VR matrix kind of thing. Um, this is feeling more like weird fiction, uh, a little bit of weird fiction thrown in to what is ultimately a philosophical rant, diatribe kind of thing. Our skin has become uh, discolored, now a deep shade of blue. Uh, there are many sagging fat rolls over our flesh forms, and the excess rolls cover our eyes. Hmm. We are completely unable to move or see, but we do not mind. We are so fulfilled in every single way by our loving God that we do not trifle with such petty matters as beauty standards or vanity. 
We are pleasured in every way imaginable, constantly in a state of perpetual bliss that cannot be... I am feeling such euphoria right now. <laughs> Tips Fedora. Um, that cannot be matched by any other earthly joy or vice. Hmm, okay. We have created our own heaven and we shall live in it forever. Uh, the chemicals the loving God feeds us will prolong our lives indefinitely. We are the servants of the loving God. I thought you said that it's the other way around. Uh, we will be uh, fed and cared for until the end of time. We are bloated. We are immobile. We are beyond, satisfied beyond comprehension. All praise to the loving God. May he serve us forever and ever. Okay. Not as much of a political diatribe near the end, um, but philosophical diatribe, but the, the story is a pretty interesting thought experiment. Uh, very weird fiction. Giant 800 pound blue people in tubes, uh, being force fed, uh, chemicals by an, an orgasm, chemical orgasms by <laughs> A technological computer god. Uh, very interesting. Uh, if you would like to hear me talk about more uh, god-related, good, wholesome, Christian-related uh, horror stories, you can uh, watch my narration of uh, 12 Minutes by Robokai and the analysis video I did of said story. Uh, those are linked down in the description. Also, you can check out the Fear Fiction podcast. I will link a related uh, episode of the podcast down below as well. Y'all have a blessed day.